Welcome to this presentation. My name is Brendan O'Leary and I'm a solutions architect with GitLab. Today we're going to talk about complete DevOps. Today, software is no longer something that just some companies do, and it's not about making existing products smarter or existing processes more efficient. It's now enabling new modes of delivery, engagement, and innovation with our customers, and it is the new competitive advantage. The best modern companies will build strong software operations that allow them to continuously deliver customer value and great customer experiences in any climate. We know this because it's already happening. This new way of working delivers results for your team and your business. And in the 2016 State of DevOps study, it showed us that high performing teams have drastically shorter lead times, allowing them to deploy 200 times faster. They spend less time on rework, freeing up time to spend on strategic work like new features or ways to improve their development processes. And ultimately, these software development teams are able to deliver more software faster and cheaper, delivering value for their businesses. Traditionally, this has been handled with a concept called DevOps, but what does this mean? In practice, large organizations have a lot of friction between these groups. Developers do their work independent of the operations team, and the operations team has a set of tools that are distinct from the development team. This ends up with lots of duct tape to make these tools work together and does not align developers and operators. And as such, traditional DevOps only focuses on the intersection point, which goes against the very tenets of DevOps. The entire purpose of making a single word DevOps would be to align the development team and the operation team's objectives towards the same corporate mission. However, focusing only on this intersection leads to even more disconnect and frustration between the groups. If this looks familiar, it's what most modern organizations see. They see a large, diverse set of daisy chain together tools that try and solve a little part of the problem of idea to production. However, it's not software that solves these problems, it's people, processes, and software together aligned to the same goal in order to drive business value. And a tool for each step along this process actually leads to a house of cards style system that's brittle, prone to breaking down, and can actually increase overall cycle time. The answer to this is strikingly simple. Focus on complete DevOps. We need a holistic approach to the issues and a way to measure teams' results over the entire cycle. As business owners, we own this process from start to finish, from idea to production. As business leaders, we can't simply throw something over the fence to another team. We have to iterate on and drive business value through the entire process. So what does complete DevOps look like? This is obviously easier said than done. But next, let's take a look at some ways organizations have walked down this path and how we might use that as a blueprint in our own organizations. Every organization is at a different point on their complete DevOps maturity path. At some point, everyone started off manually with manual testing, manual deploys. Of course, this is inefficient and very prone to error. Many have used CI to embrace automated build processes and some automated testing processes remove some of the manual work of testing. But the best and fastest teams have embraced CD, continuous deployment, to static environments, using their infrastructure, treating their infrastructure as code, push button deploys to production, or even automated deploys to production. How can we rapidly evolve our existing processes to complete DevOps? That's exactly the solution GitLab offers. Unifying your teams onto a single platform allows all of your team members to quickly align their communication, planning, and delivery efforts to the same goals. And with a single platform, you're no longer wasting time stitching together tools, managing permissions between tools, and those brittle integration points are no longer wasting time in our organization. In fact, GitLab's vision for complete DevOps has been validated by Forrester's recent CI tools wave study. We received the highest score for any tool with our current offering and received the highest possible score for strategy, which takes into account our vision for why complete DevOps is now the way that leading software companies think of the more modern software development life cycle. In fact, I think Forrester hit the nail on the head for their vision for complete DevOps by saying, teams wanna spend more time writing code and less time maintaining their tool chain. A key part of this journey is gonna be taking this large stack of disparate tools 
and integrating them into one seamless tool. One end-to-end -end tool for collaboration and visibility, source control over not only code, but our infrastructure and tests, automated build, deploy, and testing, and metrics over the entire process. But how has GitLab accomplished this industry recognition in such a short amount of time? Well, we have a couple of unfair advantages. First, among self-hosted Git providers, we own two thirds of the market. We have over 10 million downloads and being an open core company, we have over 1800 contributors to our project. No other company, no matter how much VC they raise, can have that kind of involvement. And it's not just the best talent that we hire, it's best contributors from all over the world, including many of our enterprise customers. Many of those are contributors to GitLab. So instead of their solutions and tooling being locked inside their organization, all of GitLab space gets to benefit from those improvements. How does all of this focus on complete DevOps aligned to business value? You pay your development teams to deliver customer value. Your team should provide tools that enable this, not act as a valve limiting the speed of delivery for your development teams. We want to enable cloud native apps to move at the speed that they were designed for. The top four priorities of high performing development teams are increasing software development lifecycle tasks, automation, moving to cloud based environments, improving their visibility into customer experience metrics, and speeding up their overall cycle time. And if we look at these four things, they are a roadmap. They depend on one another. And they're a roadmap to how our organizations can deliver business value faster and they align with GitLab's vision for complete DevOps. At the core of business value, we wanna improve the customer experience. As every company is a software company and software is eating the world, only the companies that are able to iterate quickly are gonna be able to improve their customer experience at a speed that will keep up with their competition. And to move at the speed of modern innovation, we have to improve very rapidly. The faster our cycle time from idea to production, the faster we can deliver improvements to customer experience, and the faster we deliver value to the business. A traditional view of software delivery will lead not only to increased time overall to deliver on initial goals, but also will not allow us to iterate fast enough to ensure that we deliver the optimal solution in an ever-changing competitive landscape. So how do we speed up that cycle time? The obvious, but in practice not so easy answer is to automate the entire software development life cycle. In order to automate that life cycle, we have to go cloud native. We need to treat all parts of that life cycle as cattle. This is the key promise of cloud native. If you just build pet servers on a cloud environment, you aren't going cloud native. But to realize that true benefit, it takes a technology partner that's dedicated to cloud native technology like GitLab. This will not only enable our teams to achieve business value, but also measure that value we provide to the business. So that's a pretty amazing story so far, but GitLab has an even larger vision for DevOps and what we're driving to. We're gonna talk about a little bit of that today. In 2018, GitLab is gonna deliver on the entire complete DevOps lifecycle. Despite our industry recognition, we know that there's still hard work that needs to be done in order to deliver on this promise. First, our next big step is Auto DevOps. Released just two months ago in 10.0 in beta, we're already seeing teams reap huge benefits from this. We use open source Heroku build packs, so there isn't even a need for your teams to write CI code or dockerize your applications. All your development team does is upload the code to GitLab and those build packs automatically detect the language and we know how to build and test that code. Then auto review app and deploy, dockerize that app, deploy it into a Kubernetes cluster automatically so that now it's just as easy to review the actual modified application as it is to review code changes. And on top of all of this is auto monitoring built in so that we can see the impact that code changes have overall. So auto DevOps is an amazing tool for new projects, but it isn't the complete story. The complete story involves a developer, Sally. Previously at a Fortune 500 company, it took her a week to set up her development environment and become productive. But now with GitLab and our GitLab IDE, Sally's gonna be able to make a contribution to production in day one. 
when we use the same infrastructure to build, test, and preview their code that we also use to build our code, it allows her to complete, quickly complete a commit and create a merge request. That is automatically packaged, rebuilt, and deployed into a review app, reviewed by her manager, and deployed into production. But wait, our test didn't notice that in production, this rollout actually shows a 5% increase in error rate as we deploy it into production. We detect that, we automatically roll it back and tag her manager and her to go fix the problem. In this way, we can see that are we are true to the GitLab value that everyone can contribute as day one developers are active and deploying code in their production environments. That's our vision for complete DevOps. Allowing your teams to move at the speed they want will decrease your cycle time from idea to production, deliver value to customers faster in the form of consistently improving top tier customer experiences.